All right, you have one more year to get your real ID. And you're going to need that to fly domestically, visit certain federal facilities like military yep. bases, and enter nuclear power plants. State Capitol reporter Tori Gessner walks us through everything you need to know. At the airport, the process is simple. Hand over your Tennessee license, get it scanned, and you're one step closer to taking off. But come May 7th, 2025, TSA will look for one more thing. You all have to have the gold star on your ID. The gold star, indicative of a real ID. Not only will Tennesseans need it to fly domestically, but also to visit certain federal facilities and even enter nuclear power plants. The real ID helps say who you are and proves who you are. The idea was implemented after 9-11, when the 9-11 Commission noticed the majority of the terrorists who committed the attacks had several different IDs under several different names. 1.6 out of 5.8 million Tennesseans have yet to get their real ID. That's what we're really encouraging this next year as we head into the real ID implementation is for those 1.6 million to educate themselves and make a decision on whether or not to get a real ID. To get a real ID, you'll need a few documents, proof of your U.S. citizenship, proof of your full social security number, and two proofs of Tennessee residency. If there has been a name change, such as a marriage or divorce, a certified legal document supporting the name change must be presented with the approved documents. Before you head to the DMV, you can upload the documents here to make sure you have everything you need before you go get your real ID. It's a more efficient, um, faster process, and I'll get you in and out pretty quick. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. Real IDs are not required. You can use your passport instead if you're entering any of the real ID mandated facilities. For more information, go to tn.gov safety.